in the depth versus clock time model, we have typically five data points. We could get more, we could have fewer, but typically the number of data points that we observed was five. We selected three data points and we plug them into the form y equals at squared plus bt plus c to get three simultaneous equations in the parameters a, b, and c. These three equations gave us this matrix equation. We expect for many reasons that this matrix will be invertible so that we can solve for a, b, and c. When we then plug the values of a, b, and c back into the quadratic function, or to the form of our quadratic function, we get a specific function. We have a number in front of t squared, that'll be whatever we get for a, a number in front of t, and a, no, and a number off to the end, our, our c value. If we plug the t value, 8, into that equation, we're going to get 138. If we plug 68 into that function, we're going to get 40. If we plug 80 into that function, we're going to get 20. Now, if we plug 37 into the function, we don't expect to get exactly 83, but if the depth really is a quadratic function of clock time, and if our data is accurate, then we expect what we would get would be pretty close to 83, and that what we get when we plug in 148 will be pretty close to zero. So, that's our quadratic model. Now, I don't say anything about uh, what I've got down here. I did that on a different video, uh, but if you haven't been to the end of the course, you won't necessarily understand this.